In this video, we're gonna show you what this thing is and how we use it to get a perfect alignment every single time. <laughs> So a big part of what we do every day is alignments on lifted trucks and lifted Jeeps. So we wanna take some time and show you what it's like to do an alignment on this lifted Ram 1500. Now this kit's got a, this truck's got a six inch lift with some 37 inch tires and we're gonna walk you through the whole process like it's a beginner level alignment training class on what we do to make a lifted truck drive straight and have awesome alignment specs. As you can tell, we've got the truck on our alignment rack and we've got all of the heads clamped on the wheels. Now these heads are pretty important because what essentially is happening with the alignment machine is all those cameras. I don't know if you see the flickering light there, but those things are taking pictures of all of these geometric shapes on the targets. So what we're gonna do next is roll the truck forward and get some specs for a caster. We call this a caster sweep and uh, it's gonna give us tow and a bunch of other things. So let's check it out. So as we're walking you through this alignment, there's a few things that I wanted to talk about. Like what the heck is caster? What is camber and what is tow? Well, the easiest way that I could relate to it is with my feet. Just like the truck, the tires are the feet of the vehicle, we're gonna show you with my boots exactly what caster, camber, and tow is so that you can remember it in the future. So, the first thing we're gonna talk about is tow. When your tires are towed in, it's like this. And when your tires are towed out, it's like that. We're talking about the front tires. As you can see, tow is really important because if tow is not right, you're definitely gonna be shaving rubber off of your tires. The next thing I wanna talk about is camber. Camber is like this. Now camber is really important because as a vehicle uh, is modified, especially independent vehicles, camber really changes. So we need to make some pretty severe adjustments to make sure that the tires are not cambered out. The last thing is a little bit more difficult to, to uh, comprehend, but it's called caster. And what caster is, is, is essentially this. So we like to see caster rolled back and in most vehicles is somewhere between two and six degrees. Now this is really important because caster has a lot to do with how a vehicle handles because what we're doing is essentially using the pivot point or the axis, the steering axis, and we're putting the steering axis in front of the actual contact patch of the tires. So good caster, make sure that you've got good steering wheels returned to center and the vehicle doesn't take a whole lot of driver input to be going straight. So an example of low caster would be like a hay wagon. You ever see a hay wagon getting towed down the road by a tractor and it just doesn't know which way to go? Vehicles with low caster, like around zero, will be that way. So if your vehicle has a lot of input, and requires a lot of input, it could be that some bushings and stuff are worn out but it also could be that caster's low. So right now, Gabe is gonna install the brake pedal depressor. This is gonna hold the brake pedal down while we do an alignment. Uh, while he's doing that, I wanted to show you a little bit about the turn plates. If you can see right here, it's hard to see, but this plate has ball bearings inside there, so it lets the tire move freely and easily on there while we're doing an alignment and while we're moving and making adjustments uh, underneath. This alignment machine is pretty awesome and it basically walks you through all of the steps prompting you what to do next. As you can see right here, it's telling us turn the vehicle's tires the whole way to the right and then we're gonna sweep them back and turn it the whole way to the left. I think you already did that. So this is our preliminary reading. Uh, before we've adjusted anything, this is giving us front ca camber, front caster, and tow. So we're gonna be able, we're gonna to begin to make adjustments on all three of these uh, to get them within spec. As you can see, this is the left side, this is the right side, and it gives us, for a cat camber range, it gives us a spec um, that we need to make it into adjustment. As you can see, the same thing on caster here. The left side, 4.2 to 2.9. Uh, right side, 3.1 and 4.4. Now you may ask, why is caster not the same on the left side 
and the right side. Um, and that's to, that's because most of the roads that we drive on in the United States have just a little bit of a crown to them. So they're actually taking that crown into consideration on the alignment. So this truck has an independent front suspension and a solid rear axle suspension. Um, right now, it's hard to see, but he's adjusting camber and caster on these lower control arms with an eccentric bolt. So how that works is this bolt has this big eccentric washer on it that's in that slot. And so depending on where we move that around, is it tells us exactly where to get the correct caster and camber specifications. Now all of the readings that we're showing on that screen are live. So as he's making the adjustments, the cameras are reading those targets and giving us actual specifications live and in color as it's happening. So while he's making those adjustments, he's looking at the screen to see exactly where it's at. So we've got caster and camber both set perfectly. The next thing we're gonna do is make sure that the steering wheel is perfectly straight and we're gonna set toe. So we put a steering wheel lock in there and that holds the steering wheel perfectly straight. And the alignment machine actually is gonna tell us where to make the adjustments so that toe is correct and the alignment is perfect for as far as toe goes. So as you can see, we've got perfect alignment specs on this thing. What we're gonna do next is pull the heads off, uh, put the vehicle down on the ground and take it for a good test drive. Everything should be perfect and sweet. This tool is awesome and we use it every single day on lifted trucks and lifted Jeeps because they've gotta drive good too and good alignment specs are important to that. If you like this video, let us know what you think in the comment section below. Remember to give us a thumbs up, hit the notification bell, follow us on Instagram, and for the newest, coolest stuff, check out our stories because there's some funny stuff there too. Thanks for watching.